can't handle the truth. I want to get your feedback on this, okay? This is from a publication called Veterans Today. There's a colleague of mine, Bob Nichols, who is a uh, journalist there who writes a weekly column called Radiation Report. This is a weekly column, and he is a radiation expert uh, on radiation throughout the U.S., and he is black and white. I mean, he just puts it out there. This is radiation counts per minute, city and state. Listed in counts per minute, count, a count is one radiation, radioactive decay registered by the instrument. I'm going to just go through this. The top reporting radioactive cities, he lists the top 20. Okay? These are a portion of the American cities that exceeded 1,000 counts per minute this week. Let me say this very, very slowly. Normal radiation, that is, what the human body is designed for, what would be around, would have been around, say, in the 1930s, was 5 to 20 counts per minute or prior to Fukushima, okay? That, that is correct, yes. Okay, this is this week, April 30th, 2016. Number one, uh, Colorado Springs, Colorado. Counts per minute, 1,454. That's 290 times the normal radiation. That's about, that is the normal is 5 to 20, and they're at 1,420. And 50 counts per minute is one becquerel, and five becquerels or 250 is official mandatory evacuation. In other words, if there were 250, 250 counts per minute, Colorado Springs, Colorado would have to be evacuated completely, you know, with the, with the suits and everybody emergency evacuated. Well, let's see how many times 250 Okay, so we've got one, four, two, four, divided by two, five, zero, equals, okay, this is five, over five times emergency evacuation. Mandatory, mandatory emergency evacuation. Mandatory. Now, the only reason why this is happening is because the United States and as soon as we'll proceed, we'll find out the globe is occupied by a mandatory genocidal and ecocidal authority regime where Russia and the U.S. are run by the same government. If you think they're different, you're just buying into the enmeshment. But the radiation levels are the same around the world. And I'm I've spoken to radiation experts. So that's what the reality is, and this is all around the world. I've asked the duress questions, is this genocide? Yes, intentional genocide. Is this ecocide that is killing off the biosphere, the oceans, the lands? Yes. Is this reported by the press? No. Have they turned off all the nuclear meters? Yes. Do the governments know about this at the highest levels? Yes. Are they doing it? Yes. Who are the parties? Well, as we've been able to report at newsinsideout.com, they're a combination of, number one, an invading artificial intelligence that is pathogenic, and number two, a whole human culture where the leaders that we call AI prophets have and a large bulk of the leadership and the human population is becoming more and more AI and trained even at the DNA level by uh, chemtrails that carry Morgellons 100, using the red wine test 100% of humans now have Morgellons if they use any, any human who used the red 
spit wine test, spit into red wine in a shallow glass, you'll find wires in the saliva and the, and the red wine. These wires are kind of swimming around. That's the Morgellons. That's from the chemtrails that the human population have breathed in that contain nanobots that jump the blood-brain barrier that go into the brain that become implants that are picked up and entrained into supercomputers whereby then become entrained to software programs that are run by heart or by other outputters, uh, satellites or microwave towers. So people with weak souls become robotoids and then the Morgellons starts more and more working on the DNA of the individuals and humans are now being converted over into it's a new species and the AI is taking over what we call the third density which is the time space duality consciousness density. I'll read some of the more that this is the top 20 cities but uh, it's all parts of the country. Little Rock, Arkansas, number two, 1,414. They're all like five or six times the evacuation. And this is, this is like the globe is one large extermination oven. And nobody is reporting on it except for our colleague, Bob Nichols, and a few others in this field. And there's an assassination program underway, very active against nuclear activists. Christina Consolo, who was the woman reporting on all the deaths of all the pilots. Flying, commercial flying is extremely dangerous because of all the nuclear plumes in the atmosphere from Fukushima, from depleted uranium weapons. And the pilots are dying. They, they even die in mid-flight or have heart attacks. And I've been talking to stewardesses who call us. It's a beyond a flight hazard. The gentleman who was going to start up Eastern Airlines, and he looked at the statistics, and he just gave up. There's a thing called the Wigner effect, in which radiation is just eating away all machinery. You can start looking at it. Air Force jets are just falling apart all over the world. The maintenance problems on the air, aircraft industry is horrible. And even all buildings are falling apart because of the radiation effect.